In one of her recent messages, Bishop Hassanelli had said, remember, this is a marathon, not a sprint. And so today's devotion is from Max Lucado again. In the end, it's not the flashy and flamboyant who survive. It is those with steady hands and sober minds. Make a plan. A dramatic crisis requires a dramatic response, right? Not always. We equate spirituality with high drama, Paul rising the dead, Peter healing the sick. Yet for every Paul and Peter, there are a dozen Josephs, men and women blessed with skills of administration, steady hands through whom God saves lives. Joseph never raised the dead, but he kept people from dying. He never healed the sick, but he kept sickness from spreading. He made a plan, and he stuck with it. And because he did, the nation survived. He triumphed with a calm, methodical plan. You can do the same. You can't control the weather. You aren't in charge of the economy. You can't undo the tsunami or unwreck the car. But you can map out a strategy. Remember, God is in this crisis. Ask him to give you an index card-sized plan, two or three steps you can take each day. Seek counsel from someone who has faced a similar challenge. Ask friends to pray. Look for resources. Reach out. More importantly, make a plan. You'd prefer a miracle for your crisis? You'd rather see the bread multiplied on that stormy sea turn glassy calm in a finger snap? God may do this. Then again, he may tell you, I'm with you. I could use this for good. Now let's make a plan. Trust him to help you. We'll get through this. Blessings on your day.